third eye vision. Okay. Hey, I'm Mike. That's my cousin Anthony. Welcome to the third eye vision. We're going to get it popping for you. Keep it moving. <laughs> That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. What is gold ball? That's the big question, huh? Well, it's a sport that uh, I used to play a long time ago in high school, and I don't want to go to do too much detail because the video is going to explain it all, and I want y'all to stay tuned because I have a special piece that is going to come up after that. But <clears throat> please subscribe, hit the notification bell, man. Um, share like if you don't like the video let me know why what i can do better comment and also you all thank you for the support that i have been given in the past and um thanks to all my future subscribers uh i want you all to check out the video gold ball i don't want to give too much away uh, about what it is it's a sport that involves look you know what i'm not going to talk about it let's go into the video thanks have you ever heard of goalball? Goalball is a sport designed for athletes who are visually impaired. It's played all over the world and has been a staple of the Paralympics since 1976. The sport was originally created after World War II in an effort to rehabilitate visually impaired veterans who returned from the war front. But while it was designed for the visually impaired, anyone can play it. All players, whether they are visually impaired or not, don a blindfold. And since they cannot use their vision during play, athletes must rely on their other senses and their complete concentration. Thus, it's important that there is complete silence while the game is going on. No cheering until a goal is scored, of course. Goal! This way, the athletes will be able to hear and follow the ball, which has a bell in it, and hear their teammates while the game is in progress. The students who attend programming here at North Dakota Vision Services School for the Blind play goalball during their recess or gym time. They learn and practice the three basic skills of throwing, blocking, and passing. For many of them, this is their first exposure to the sport, but playing goalball quickly becomes one of their favorite parts of the week. Let's have some of our North Dakota goalball athletes explain, in their own words, how to play the sport. Um, every team member is blindfolded and you cannot peek out of your blindfold. And you basically chuck balls back and forth and have to block them with your body. So it's kind of like, do it's like the opposite of dodgeball. You want to stop the ball instead of not getting hit by the ball. You want to get hit by the ball and then throw it back at the other team. The goal is scored by someone throwing the ball and then if, if, the op if your opponent team uh, fails to block it and it gets past them, then that's a goal. Okay, goal ball is a sport played by three athletes on a team at the same time. Each player is blindfolded. You have one center and two wings and the ball, because you're blindfolded hat that you play with has bells in it and the object is to roll the ball, kind of like you would a bowling ball, you don't throw it through the air, but you roll it, and the object is to get it past the other team's goal line. And you just keep playing um, the halves, whatever you decide on for our, for our kids. And the team that has the most goals at the end of the game is the winning team. Our teens also get the chance to compete in two goalball tournaments every year. In February, student athletes from the South Dakota School for the Blind and Visually Impaired in Aberdeen come to Grand Forks, and in April, students and coaches from North Dakota drive to Aberdeen to compete there. These are low-key tournaments with the aim of just having fun and to build skills. New friends are made, all while enjoying a little healthy competition with our neighbors to the south. 
These tournaments also expose our families, friends, and communities to the sport. Families and friends come to watch the games and are even invited to play an exhibition game or two at the conclusion of the tournament. By actually playing the sport, they quickly realize how difficult it is to play and how important concentration and quiet is on the court. During our February tournament, the Delta Gamma Sorority from the University of North Dakota helps us out by serving as line judges and scorekeepers. Some of them even get a chance to play the game. So I, I was in the center and uh, I had to really pay attention to my senses and um, listen to the ball and listen to my teammates next to me. Um, so it was pretty difficult but uh, really fun to be able to rely on my senses instead of my sight. Many of our students that we serve do not feel comfortable playing typical fast-paced sports such as basketball, football, or volleyball. There is simply too much reliance on sight in order for these students to participate on an equal basis. Goalball, however, is different. It's different because I'm playing it with other people who are visually impaired and so we all kind of know what it's like and so we have to, instead of having to rely more, more physically and have be, being able to have seeing hand-eye coordination, it's more using your hearing and your different um, hear and feel, it's really reliant on those senses. Uh, is different from other sports is because I'm actually good at it compared to other sports. Um, it doesn't require vision and it puts everyone on an equal playing field. It relies more on your sense of, you know, uh, sound and your, uh, visualization of yourself on the court without vision itself. Now that you know what goalball is, you know that it takes quick instincts, teamwork, strength, endurance, flexibility, full concentration, but not sight. All right, what is your favorite part about goalball? My favorite part about goalball is chucking the ball or rolling it really hard to the team and scoring. When I played goalball, I liked the thrill of being on the ground, trying to stop the ball and have the ball come through you and trying to throw it. But now that I don't play, I like to... I like it when the people have good throws and good blocks. I think it's just seeing the students um, have a lot of fun and being immersed in their environment. And I think it's just something that you don't get to experience elsewhere, so just really being here is just the best part to me. So are you ready to compete? Here on my right side, please be quiet during the game. If you have a mobile phone, please turn it off. Thank you. Algeria will start with the ball. Quiet please, center.